Hi everyone, it's Jessica here from Journaling with Jessica and today I wanted to share with you guys um, some swatches of my j Urban ink haul from Jetpens. So I bought quite a few inks by j Urban because I couldn't resist the cute little bottles that they come in. I feel like 10 mils is just the perfect amount of ink for me to be able to use and enjoy without being a tiny little sample vial. So this first ink that I'm using is Jerban's Ver Ver de Gris. Okay, so you guys, um, I'm so sorry, my pronunciation is not one hundred percent with these names. Um, so I'm gonna try to use the translations as well. So that color translates to gray, grayish green. Now I know I swatched this in my blue section of my notebook, so that was an error on my part, cause it. But because it looked to be more of a bluish color to me initially, um, after swatching it though, I can say it is more of like a, like a blue green, I guess going more on the, along the lines of a green than a than a blue, um, for this video I'll be swatching as well on some rhodia, rhodia paper as well. I cut up some sheets from my rhodia um, notepad. And I have been using those in a little album that my mom got me. Just so I have these swatches on pure, like, bright white paper. And so I could have this swatch on Rhodia paper as well. I know you guys would not have seen me um, do this in my previous video. That's my previous videos. But that's because I already had these done for those colors. Since I had swatched them um, previously. Okay. So I'm using my... Um, my glass nib pen, my glass dip pen for um writing on the rodeo paper just for consistency sake since I had already been doing that from before. Um so yeah that's for the grease. It seems like a really nice colour. I haven't used it in a pen just yet. Um I'm interested to see if it will end up being more of a dark colour versus an unsaturated one when it's in a pen. So far it seems on the Tomo River paper that it would be more of a muted desaturated type of color but on the rhodia paper it seemed a lot brighter um the next color that i'll be swatching is ved res res resida <laughs> that's resida rashida green again i swatched this in the blue section i did not check the english um translation for any of these colors before i swatched them um, but this color is kind of more of an aqua teal type color. So in my mind, it goes more towards the blue side than the green side. But it's more of like an aqua. So do with do what you will with that information. Um, this color is really similar to Diamine Soft Mint. I saw a lot of comparisons to that online. Um, but I went with the Vertrashida, although... Diamond Soft Mint is supposedly has a lot more like shading properties, so a lot of people prefer that over this color. I went with this one because of the again the cute little bottle size. I thought it didn't make sense to purchase a small little sample bottle of the Soft Mint or the giant like thirty ml bottles from um Diamine when I could just get this little um ten ml ten ml bottle yeah from Jerobon and it, it it's so cute so I can't resist it. I'm having a bit of difficulty, you'll see, with my um, Kakimori dip pen trying to swatch on the Rodia paper. I think it's a bit of user error, but also the um, the Rodia paper is not as smooth as Tomoe River paper, so the ink doesn't spread along the page as, easier, as easily, and it dries a lot faster, so it, it's a bit streaky and um, not, not the best. But it'll work for the purpose of me just seeing the, being able to flip through the um the swatches on some different paper. I had considered putting pieces of the Rodia paper in my swatch book, like sticking it in, but I changed my mind about that pretty quickly. I've also been considering doing like one um a page in the notebook for each like either each ink where I put like a little swatch of the ink and then every time I put it in a pen, I could just swatch and show what it looks like in each pen. Or put a page per pen and put um put what inks I've used in any each specific pen. I'm kinda I guess I'm going more along the lines of putting the 
um like putting down a swatch of the ink and then writing with whatever pens I used it in so I could see the difference in like the thickness versus like how it like how it looks when it's in a pen versus in the swatch. Um next would be a very popular color that would be the Jerban Poissier de Lune. So that translates to moon dust purple. This one, I saw everyone online talking about a lot. A lot of people were swatching it. A lot of people said it was one of their favorite inks. So as I was already getting from Jeroban, I decided to pick this color. It's not a color I would have gone with on my own because it's a bit on the darker side. And I have been stepping away from the super saturated and dark inks. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um... It's a it's a really like more reddish purple, so purple with more of a red tinge to it. I used it in my Lamy Safari with the extra fine nib, and I actually enjoyed it a lot. Um, the color is more of a muted tone, and I find that most of the Jiraban inks that I have at least seem to have more of a muted undertone to them, so they come off like dusty. Um, like a dusty color which i actually really appreciate it's not as harsh on the eyes and it just is lovely and like desaturated like dreamy i guess you could say i find like most of the inks i've used so far from the from this sec selection has been really dreamy colored um i actually bought a few more inks from them i got two of their brown inks from jet pens again but their price has increased initially they were 550 for each bottle but now they've gone up to 675 per bottle so um i just purchased the le Dite and uh, what was it so le Dite is tea brown and i also got um i believe was it cafe de del Ile? i think cafe de Ile. the is <laughs> Island Coffee Brown. Or was it Tedefu? No, it was Tedefu. Tierra del Fuego Brown, sorry. So I may swatch those at a later date when I do a whole video. I I wanna do a a small and not small, kind of large um stationary haul video. Um so yeah, you'll see that soon, hopefully. This color I'm swatching is Violet Pensy. Violet Pons. I don't know. <laughs> Pensive violet. I am on the hunt for the perfect purple color. So when I saw this one, I saw the swatches on jet pens. I decided to go with it. Um, the swatches on my swatch don't really match that well. Um, from their swatch, it seemed like more of a bright, um, pale purple. Sort of like if you've ever seen Neko Yanagi. The purple bits in Neko Yanagi, their swatch looked more like that. But my swatch is more of like just a, like a violet purple. A desaturated violet purple. Like a dusty violet. Um, it's not awful. I don't hate it. Um, but we'll see how it goes because I haven't used it in a pen just yet. So when I eventually use it in a pen, then I'll get a better idea of, you know, if I like it or not or what the situation is with that um i did order a sample of murasaki shikibu from um pilot to see if i like that shade of purple because i've seen people say they enjoyed that and then drew from um from Goulet pens recommended the diatromentous lilac ink so i also purchased that to see um, samples of that to see which purple I'd like the most. I got one of the Sailor inks as well. I think it's Fuji Sugata. So I'm waiting for all of those inks to come in. And um, I should do us. I will likely do a swatching video of the sam ink samples that I bought from Goulet Pens whenever they arrive. Um, those were my would be my birthday inks. I like to buy some inks at the start of the year. These Jerban inks were kind of out of my norm. Because usually I would just get a few inks, or not a few, quite a few ink samples from Goulet Pens along with the free sample pack that they send for your birthday. And I just, those would be like my new inks for the year. But Jeroban really caught my eye. So because of that, I ended up buying um, quite a few of their inks and enjoying them a lot so far. 
um the next inks will be pink inks so i got two pink inks from them excuse me i'm a little bit congested um i got two inks from them one of them is which i'm going to swatch now is rose cyclum cyclamen or cyclamen i don't know cyclamen pink is the name of the color uh i'm looking at my swatch and my swatch looks so nice and pink and even in like it matches the swatch on um the jet pens website but i have this in a pen and it is it is purple <laughs> i don't know if you've ever seen those roses that are more of like that purple pink but it's like that color like a purple pink rosy color um pretty bright and in from my in my pen it's it's more purple for sure um i don't know if I, if i try it in a different pen if it will match the swatch a little bit better because I'm actually pretty surprised looking at my swatch right now compared to how I have been seeing it right in my um, Gila Nether notebook. Maybe the notebook has a bit of a yellow a tinge to the page as well. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, this ink actually spilled out. Um, you'll see a little piece of plastic there hanging off because the ink it has spilled ev like all over in the little um, bubble wrap that Jet Pens put it in. They actually packaged these inks extremely well. Each ink came in a little bubble wrap, um, like separate section. So even though this ink exploded everywhere, it didn't ex it didn't um, dirty any of the other inks or any of the other items. It just spilled out all over the bottle, and um, that was it. And I still didn't lose that much ink. Um, I feel like I only lost uh, maybe like a mil, if so much. The only thing with these inks is that each bottle actually doesn't have like the same amount in it um so you would see some of the bottles had a complete full like almost the brim whereas other bottles were a little bit below that i don't know how what's going you know, on with them and that and quality control but yeah some of the bottles were not completely filled so the next color i'm going to swatch is the color that was the actual reason i ended up looking into the jerban inks and that is bouquet d'antan or oh, d'antan mm -hmm. bouquet of yesteryear pink i was on the hunt for a beautiful pink color like a nice muted more pale shade of pink and i came across this one on someone's page on instagram i can't remember their name right now and i saw it and i thought okay that pink kind of looks like what i've been looking for because a lot of companies do like those bright bright pinks and they have their place but um i have a lot of muted like pink washi tapes and i wanted to be able to match those up with something so i looked into it and saw this color being suggested as well as a muted pink i think from um diatramentis but a lot of people were um complaining and saying that the diatramentis ink was like old lady pink <laughs> so i thought that was funny so i went with this one instead and um from this watch it looks great it looks like exactly the color i was looking for that like dusty rose colored pink and um i haven't inked it into a pen yet i have plans of putting it in uh, um my iridescent pool which is pool i can't remember the name um is a monteverde rodeo rodeo no rodeo rodeo drive pen that's i bought um it's I'm, I was hoping to use it for around like Valentine's Day, but I'm still using up my rose cyclamon in one of my pens and I had to ink up my another one of my pens with one of the red inks that I'm going to show soon. So I, I don't know, maybe by the end of the month I should get it because initially I would ink like two pens at a time with two different inks at a time and um use those for the like interchange pens for each month so use one color one day the other color the next day but i decided this year that i would instead ink one pen with one ink and use that one until it's finished and then ink another pen with another ink and use it until it's finished um using like a general guideline of what colors i would prefer to use in each month but not really 
enforcing like a rule where I have to finish the ink by the time the month ends or anything like that. Just trying to put like a little less pressure on myself, but also to give myself some room to use whatever ink I feel like using or whatever pen I feel like using because I was a bit too rigid and strict with myself um, last year. So into the reds, I bought maybe my, yeah, my first proper red ink, which would be Rouge Granat. That translates to Garnet Red. I'm a January girl. My birthday is in January and Garnet is the stone for the month of January. So I decided to go for this color. Um, not my usual thing. As you can see, my red section only has one color in it. And it's one of those um, very popular ones that I purchased just to try since everybody kept recommending it. And um, I put it in a pen, but by no fault of the ink, that pen was just giving me some problems. It had an extra fine nib and it was so dry and skipping and a whole bunch of drama. I actually had to contact the seller and they told me to just um, like pe press down a little hard on the, what is it? press yeah press firmly on the nib and let the tines split a little and do that a few times and since doing that it's it has been writing finally so when i finish using up the ink in my current pen i will be switching to the pen that contains the rouge granat which i think should work for february since it's red and february is the month of love so yeah i'll be switching to my red ink soon and then from my red ink, hopefully, to that um, uh, rose color, Bouquet Downtown. So, yeah. I love this shade of red, actually. Um, it was really... It, it showed a lot of, like, shading properties when I, um, when I used it in the pen. So, I was enjoying that a lot when the pen was writing properly in between. Hopefully, um, it'll be fine now. Um, oh, that pen I'm referring to is the Conklin Durograph. In rainbow I bought that from Goulet pens as like a birthday pen for myself and it just started to give me a lot of problems um, but since doing what they said to do it has been writing a lot better I just haven't been using it I've been letting it sit for a few days and then coming back and, and trying it out and it has been writing on the Rodeo paper at least so we'll see how it goes in a few I think I filmed an unboxing of that pen and a few other pens that I bought um, last year and as well as for Fountain Pen Day. So soon you guys will see, um, soon you guys will see some little haul videos that I have there for you guys. Um, yeah. So just watching it on the Rodeo paper now. This one, I think I had a lot of problems with it on the paper. I'm seeing like so much streaks, but on the Tomoe River, it's, it's fine. It's super easy. I really just didn't want to get out any cotton swabs because the point of me buying the Kakimori dip pen was to avoid all the wastage using cotton buds to do my swatches. So I just powered through with the um, Kakimori on that paper, even though it, it wasn't so fun. This next color is another one that was very highly um, like reviewed. Everyone and their grandmother, I feel like, has tried this color or um, owns this color. Um, it is Rule Donc. Yeah, if anybody knows French, y'all could roast me about my pronunciation or, or correct me. It's fine. I, I'll take that. So Rule Donc is Rusty Anchor Red. And it it is a rusty color, I guess. I don't know if it really fits its name, but it's a dusty, peachy, reddish type of color. Um... And it is, it's pretty nice, I must admit. I put it in my Traveler's Company brass fountain pen with a fine nib. And I enjoyed it quite a lot in the month of January. That color, this color, was the color that made me realize um, that I actually really enjoy desaturated inks. So I had been enjoying that. I have been enjoying that quite a lot. Um, I think... I'm happy that I have the bottle of ink that I the bottle of it that I do because I think it's an ink that I'll be using um over and over again. Possibly in um thicker pens, but it was fine in the Traveler's Company pen actually, because that pen was surprisingly a like a wet writer, but in the best way. 
so i would recommend that pen to anybody looking for a pocket pen with a nice fine nib that's juicy and, and nice it's it just it did well so i really liked it a lot um so yeah if anybody has any more jerban inks they want to recommend to me let me know i probably <laughs> i might already have purchased it i ended up placing an order with apple boom apple boom pens because they have the jerban inks um, for a highly dis discounted like price, they offer them in such a way. I think the the highest they are is like four dollars maybe or three dollars. And the more inks that you buy, is the less that it costs. So if you buy three inks, it costs less. If you buy five inks, if you buy ten inks, the price just keeps decreasing. So I bought a bunch, <laughs> almost to the point where I feel like. Um, if I had bought any blue inks, I would be would have completed like the entire collection of Giovanni inks in those cute little mini bottles. But there are some colors that I'm not getting. Okay, I'm trying to be good. So there are some colors that I didn't end up um, picking because I knew that I probably wouldn't use them. So we're getting into the orange inks. I chose Amber de Bimani. So that is amber gold of Burma. This was a strange color for me, not something I would pick normally. Um, but I saw, I should have found her name. There was an Instagrammer who had been doing 30 days, 30 inks. And she had a page of just Jirban inks. And she was a big part of the reason why I chose some of the colors that I did and that I decided to go with so many Jiroban colors because I saw her um, writing with them. Sorry if you could hear the dogs barking. Um, I saw her writing with them and I was just in love. This was one of those colors that when I saw it, I just fell in love because the yellows are so hard to find in fountain pen inks. And I feel like this is a nice in-between, like a golden sandish type of color. And it seems to have a lot of shading to it. None of these colors really have any sheen to them. But this one, it shades really nicely. So I can't wait to put that in a pen and have a look at what it, you know, what it looks like. Um, but so far, it looks pretty, it looks pretty nice. Um, I did buy the, um, who is it? Roran Klinger. They have a yellow ink called Helianthus. And I saw Abby Sai mention it and a few other people mention the color and use it and say that it was one of the yellows um this guy drew drew from the Goulet pen cast had also mentioned it because he did something where he chose um one color each one one ink for each color of the rainbow that was his favorite and he recommended that as one of the colors one of the yellow inks that actually works so I ordered it and you guys will see a swatch of it soon and we shall see um, if I enjoy it as much as I hope I will. So I think we just have two more inks here. I didn't at this point in time, I didn't have any brown inks from them to swatch. So those will be coming soon when I get an opportunity to do a little swatch of them. Um, so yeah. I think this ink will probably go in one of my gold nib pens that I bought because I bought a few <laughs> and I, I like this color a lot. I think it will look really nice with like a cream pen with gold trim. So we shall see. Oh, right. So here you can see I'm showing you guys. I have a swatch already of Inaho from Pilot Urshizuku. So I would have bought that ink sample from Yoseka and I didn't swatch it um in this book since I didn't have it just yet so I decided to just insert it into this video I forgot to do it when I was swatching my um ink samples but I do have one green ink that I purchased from Jiruban and that would be Vert Olive so that's olive green um I wasn't too sure about this color I like olive green olive green is my favorite color so that was my main reason for purchasing it. Um, and it was it, it's not really quite olive. It's a very bright olive color. Um, the olives I tend to go for look a little closer to old gold green, which you could see at the top of the page, or like a little bit darker. Um, but this is like bright, <laughs> bright green. 
almost like chartreuse so i don't know how they came up with a vert olive for that color but that's fine it's it's a fun color so i think i'll enjoy it it seems a little bit it seems like one of a, one of the drier inks because it did not come off of my um kakimori pen very well but we shall see i guess i'll just have to put it in a pen that is a little bit inkier a little bit more wet to see how it does um this one so yeah sorry about the sirens uh -huh. yep it seems as though they may be stuck in some traffic Alright. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. So maybe I'll pick a pen for this color and we'll see how it goes. Um I like to use um green inks for March. <laughs> so I have a whole plan in my head already of how I'm gonna use the colours. So after I use the bouquet dun dun, bouquet dun tan <laughs> at the end of February, probably into March, I'm gonna use the palette of Shizuku Inaho. And then from there, transition into vert olive. And then from there, transition into whatever other shade of green. Maybe I'll finally use the Diatrementis Jane Austen. But we shall see. I don't know about that color. I don't know why. I just <laughs> haven't been interested in using that color. And I picked it for myself. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah. Um, as I finish up writing on this card here, I'm going to swatch the palette Urshizuku Inaho, which is the last ink for this video. Um, this color is discontinued. So when I saw it on Yosaka Stationery in a sample vial and they had two mils and four mils, I snatched it up as quickly as possible so I could get to try the ink out. Um, I saw lots of people like Job's Journal recommending it and loving it and everybody bought the big bottles before they went out of stock but at the point in time I was unaware <laughs> blissfully unaware of the fact that this color would be gone forever and that it would be you know sort of sought after color for me even um, I eventually found a 15 mil bottle from cult pens so they had the um you could purchase three bottles for the i forgot the cost of it but it was like um you could decide the three colors that you want most places only offer like set um sets that are set but they had the option where you could pick three colors so and they had in a hoe and sukushi in stock which was amazing so i bought the 15 mils in a hoe 15 mils of the sukushi and i my third color i decided on was ajisai because i've used ajisai before and it, I think it's my my favorite blue ink so far. Um, as it's a more bluey purple, like hydrangea color, and I like hydrangeas a lot. Um, so yeah, we're finishing up this swatch here, and I already have it done on the Rodia paper, so I won't be showing you guys that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. Um, I'm always open to some suggestions. If you'll have any like fun ideas or any cool inks that you'll want, like that you all have tried that you've enjoyed. Um, I should be filming another video pretty soon with some more swatches for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!